Welcome, everyone. David, in Psalm 19, begins the psalm by saying this, The heavens declare the glory of God, and the sky above proclaims his handiwork. When we look at the scriptures, we see that there are different ways in which the Lord helps us to discover who he is, how we come to know him. And here David highlights one of those ways. It is simply in the creation around us. You look at a sunrise or a sunset or the clouds or the trees or wildlife or what have you, and you recognize that in these things that we see all around us, that we've always seen around us throughout our lives, we see the fingerprint of God. Now, the world, and including science today, would suggest to us that these things that we behold around us are purely here by accident, by a result of random chance over millions of years. But the scripture, and even our own common sense, would say to us that indeed there is something else going on than these things accidentally being here. When we look at a sophisticated piece of machinery, for instance, we would not say that that is here purely by random chance. No, we would say that someone with intelligence has designed and crafted and brought about that thing that we are now seeing. And when we look at the natural world around us, in an even greater way, we see that that is the case. That what we find in the natural world is the result of a creation brought about by someone who is highly intelligent and infinitely powerful. That's what the scripture tells us. That's what David is pointing out to us. That every day as we go through our life and look at the world around us, we are seeing the result of something that God has brought about in his wisdom and power. This is one of the ways that we get to know him. But even more than that, we get to know God through his word, like the psalm that we are seeing here. We get to know God primarily through his son, Jesus. That's what the writer to the Hebrews tells us, that in the past, in ancient times, God revealed himself to us through his prophets, but now in these last days, he has revealed himself to us by his son. In Jesus, more than anything else, we come to find out who God is. That yes, God is a God of justice, who punishes sin, who will have an answer to evil and wickedness in the world. But that even more than that, we have in God a God of grace. In Jesus, we find someone who came into this world and in his mercy and undeserved and unmerited love for us, he died, died for you and for me, so that we might have the forgiveness of our sins and everlasting life. In all these ways, God reveals himself to us and invites us into relationship with him, a relationship that begins here in this life and continues on forever in the next. Let's pray. Our Lord, we thank you for the magnificent creation that we see all around us all the time. We thank you, Lord, that through it you help us to get to know who you are. But even more so, Lord, we thank you that through your word and through your son, Jesus, more than any other place, we come to see who you are. Help us, Lord, to walk with you and to grow in relationship with you in this world and forever in the life to come. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessings and peace be to you.